Today we're checking out a test version showcasing the new graphics for Rise of Kingdoms and we're going to get a look at the home kingdom and I'll be real with you. These graphics are a nice upgrade, okay? Like today, no disrespect intended, we've got some color splotches, you know, like some brown, some green, some blue, some, uh, you know, shinies that make the water look a little shiny, but like... Hey, these graphics are pretty nice. So in this video, we'll just take a look around, okay? And this is all test server footage. It's all subject to change. Keep that in mind. But I think it is nice to go check out what the future of the game is going to be. And I'll talk a little bit about why I think it is the developers are putting in new graphics kind of when they are, okay? And, you know, I don't think it's exactly a coincidence. Besides the fact that players have been saying for a little while, like, hey, we'd like some new graphics. So if we look around here... This is my city, Chiskul Actual, because someone took the name Chiskul before I woke up this morning. So, <laughs> Chiskul Actual is my name here. And anytime you get a message from someone pretending to be me, you should just assume they're pretending to be me and it's probably not actually me. Unless it's on Discord and like you can see in my profile that it's verified to be me, just assume it's a troll, all right? Assume the trolls are out there and they are out there. Uh, so, Let's get a look around here. The resource nodes, definitely an improvement. I mean, honestly, when I look at these graphics, like the flags, maybe a little bit different here, like they're not insane. I don't look at these graphics and I'm like, wow, this is a crazy upgrade. But I do think it is a, like a really nice upgrade. Like these trees, they look so much more like trees. Look, they're swaying. There's wind. I wonder if we'll actually get some night day and some like weather effects going. I feel like that'd be kind of cool to see. This water looks pretty nice compared to what we've got today. I would rate when compared to Call of Dragons. I'd say these graphics are like similar, but maybe the Call of Dragons graphics are slightly better still. But it could just be because elevations are like super meaningful aspects of terrain and I'm just kind of misjudging it. Here's a gold deposit. This gold deposit actually, <laughs> it looks kind of cool. The gold mine looks like it's wearing a hat. A hat that's like a, anyways, giant rock, whatever. Uh, let's see here. There are something like 80 different little features like this that I think the developers said they had created, which is really cool. The barb for it looks really nice. This is definitely a huge upgrade over what we've got today. Okay. I mean, you know, part of this is like, yeah, the game was like kind of due for some of these upgrades. Now, wait a minute. This is a gold deposit. What was that other thing I clicked? Level three gold deposit. Oh, this is Alliance gold, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah, the, no, the Alliance gold deposit looks pretty dope, honestly. We get a look around here and you can see like, instead of the sort of mountains you had before, we get these kind of like ridges, which I think is, you know, cool. It's good. This is good. This is progress, chat. This is good progress. Little log on the ground over here. All right, nice. Now. What I think is, I think cool, is the nature feature. Got some good attention. Okay, so if we go look over here, here's the Lost Temple. It's definitely a step up. I mean, in Call of Dragons, you have these absolutely just magnificent scenes. And this really, in my opinion, is setting the stage for doing stuff like that in Rise of King. I think this is pretty cool. I think the developers will do much cooler stuff than this as well. Okay, I'm not knocking it. I'm just pointing out that like, I, I've seen them do cool things in Call of Dragons and, and I know they can do some cool stuff here. Ooh, let's look at this Barbarian Keep. I mean, that's nicer for sure, dude. For sure nicer. No, uh, oh, there's the, somebody actually took out the keep in the test server. Dude, that's actually kind of funny. Wait, what can I see here? Is there anything? No, you just challenge it. All right, all right, not as exciting. Okay. Very cool. And, oh, ooh. So this is an alliance cropland, but this is a village. Okay, cool. Yeah, village looks good. But I can go to a nearby village. All right. Um, oh, is this alliance stone deposit? Yeah, I like the way these look, honestly. I like the uh, look of the alliance deposits. Those are very cool. Very cool, man. How about the passes? Passes look nice. It'll be fun to see some actual fighting in all these areas to see like how it looks with troops in these spots. And let's see here. If I go and actually bring out some troops, let's do it, man. Um, 
Additional download required. Oh, I literally just downloaded this test build, all right? So, uh, new God, equipment. Do I even have a... Ooh. <laughs> test server go burr. <laughs> oh, even the epics, bro. I'll take five of everything. That's, that's good. That's good. I'm going to download this resource. Download. Can't believe this was only 32 megabytes. Why didn't I do this sooner? Well, I, technically, I guess I just downloaded it. But whatever. Okay. So, we could run... Uh, I don't care about the equipment, dude. Yeah. Uh, not the best pairing. If I were offering a suggestion, there are meta pairings. You know, those meta pairings aren't known. It'd be nice if they were recommended time to time. But here we go. I bring my march out. You can see kind of like what my march looks like in the context of all this stuff. Honestly, here's my feeling about the scenery. Is like the scenery needs to look cool, but not be distracting from the gameplay. And I feel like they've definitely accomplished that, right? Like my units are still very distinguishable from the terrain. And if I zoom all the way out, we can go to like the old school dot mode here. I guess I can go update my settings one second. Yeah, so I like this. Now you can see I've got the, instead of the dot mode, going on, right? We've got the strategic view with the units. That's good. That's good. And, you know, I select to go over here. I bump up against the edges of terrain. And it is what it is. Looks like there I'll go all the way around. Yeah, you know what? I think these graphics are a nice and needed upgrade, right? And the barbs look the same. I don't know if that's something they said they're going to get a look at. Maybe they'll, they'll update this kind of stuff later. But I think this is laying a really good foundation for... Um, the future of the game, truly. And you gotta keep in mind, like, these graphics need to not just look good now, they need to look good for like another three to five years, chat. <laughs> right? Like, these need to carry for a while. Um, and I think the thing I'm most interested in is the fact that developers have sort of said, hey, like, hey, you know, we, we've optimized, you know, lag and all this other kind of stuff. So if this is also improving the gameplay experience, uh, dude, I am all for it. So all in all, I think this is looking like a pretty solid update. And, you know, when we talk about wh well, why, why now? Ooh, look at this holy site. It looks like this design is the same for all the holy sites, which, you know, I'd love to see a little bit of variety here, but you got to start somewhere. And I used to work in product management, for those of you that haven't uh, been in my streams before, and I've talked about this, I worked in technology. And one of the things that you do when you're, you know, building a product is you build incrementally and you also are looking to what competitors are doing. And we know that Age of Empires Mobile is coming. Some number of months that game is going to launch, right? And so there's several things that the developers have done that to me feel like they're looking at Age of Empires Mobile and they're going, all right, so how do we just make sure everybody's happy where they are playing Rise of Kingdoms? And one of those things was first going in and making the gameplay way better, okay? This strategic view dot mode stuff, I feel like it's just not a coincidence for when the timing of that came out. It's like, okay, competitor game's coming out. Let's make sure everybody knows that playing our game is more fun to play. And like, I would be making gameplay improvements too in that situation. And then you look at the graphics and it's like, let's make sure everybody knows we got good graphics too. <laughs> and like, boom, <laughs> here we are. So all in all, like actually very happy with these changes. Um, oh, this guy's coming out. Hey, yo. Honestly, like, the moment this peace shield drops, I'm this account is 100% getting zeroed. I can do a few things to wreck some people's troops when they go swarm me. So we should go do that now and just, like, set up a little city defense for funsies. But I think that pretty much covers what I can show you here in the graphics update. It's interesting, like, the green here is a little bit textured. The mountains are kind of, like, very similar in color on top to the other things, but... I think it's fine, I suppose. We can look around here. There's the river. Yeah, I mean, all in all, looks good. At the end of the day, like, I don't know. Like, graphics are, like, not the most important thing to me, but also, you know, I've, like, I've kind of described them as, like, table stakes. Like, you gotta have good graphics. Or at least decent graphics. Like, what, you know, like, what, like, really? You gotta. You gotta to be in the conversation. And I think this is a, for a mobile game, we got a nice upgrade here, all right? Now, most of us are playing on PCs, but, you know, it's really nice to be able to play wherever you are. And I do that all the time, play on my mobile device. Let's go set a little, little city defense here. Let's go um, make the maximum possible punishment garrison, at least I can think of. And 
I'm probably, I mean, who knows? People will probably band together and rally me. Let's be real. But if I'm going to pick from literally anything, which looks like I am going to do here, <laughs> I'm going to put uh, Lapu Lapu on the wall. And I'm going to put Hera on the wall. Okay. And let's go put some talents and gear on Lapu Lapu real quick. All right. Oh, formations. Dang. Now, I'm going to get wrecked if people go and they, they do formation stuff. It's going to be straight up GG. I'm going to sort this by leadership. And we got to get equipment on these so they bubble up to the top. All right. There we go. So what equipment... Dude, what troops do I even have in this test account? Uh, troops? Oh, truly a blend. They even gave me some T1s. Okay. Ayo. Just enough to do a few things, it would seem. So we go in here and we go back to leadership. Go to Lapu Lapu. And by the way, this screen is also getting an update, I believe. But that hasn't happened yet. I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um, there's a download button here. Commander pack. Voiceover resources. All right, bet. So on this commander, oh, we have KVK stuff too. Ooh. The, you know, hmm, do I go for the KVK stuff or do I go for the set bonuses? The set bonuses are going to benefit all troop types. I feel like the set bonuses are the play. Like archer sets got to be the best you can do, right? Well... Troop attack, skill damage, archer health. Hey, yo, wait, where's the leadership set? Wait, where's... Wait, no leadership set? I realize I'm, like, talking about all this stuff. What about leadership set? Can I go craft it? Yep, nope, no patterns. No, even if I dismantle the other stuff, I don't have the patterns. Dude, test servers are kind of fun to play around on, I'm going to be honest with you. I, um... When I was a little kid, I truly... I played this game Ultima Online, all right? It's, like, I, technically the first... MMORPG. And I remember for Christmas, they had these like Santa, I guess it's technically holidays, but it was all Christmas themed stuff back back before we were politically correct, GG. Um, it was all this Christmas themed stuff. You could either be the Santas or you could be the elves and, and everybody was fighting and it was a good time, but it was really fun. Like playing in this sandbox environment with like super accelerated progression. I'm just gonna kind of put whatever on here. Um, rather than like focus on what is truly the most optimal. The thing you would do is you'd look at like, hey, what are the total stats that I'm getting here? You know, I could, I mean, I could make an infantry set because I know, you know what good looks like for infantry, you know, but I actually I think set bonuses are kind of the jam here, TBH. But uh, these two pieces right here have a huge amount of stats for other troop types. They're actually very, very good. So we go for infantry set boots here which we got those boots of the eternal empire there's eternal empire gloves cooking up yeah and then from here you can do a weapon Ooh, what weapon do i want technically it's the one with the most defense and health would be the best pick here um i think we go for this sucker and then oh hoo, 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 hoo. i'm probably getting swarmed so vengeance and coin I don't know. I mean, maybe people will band together to rally me on a test server. It'd be kind of funny. Wouldn't surprise me. Um, and because they're probably going to swarm me, I think we go for arch formation. And do I even have any armaments here? Bro. <laughs> I think I could go get some armaments, technically. We would juice up this account, baby. We're scaling. We're doing it. Preferred formation. Arch. Wedgie. And I don't know. Do, uh... Circle formation. GG's. How about hollow square? All right, confirm. Bro, if I get... Can you imagine if I got a legendary inscription? Can you, can you imagine? Like, I'm just goofing off here. And your boy Cheese gets a legendary inscription. Can you imagine? I would actually lose my mind. Oh my god, wait, hold on. Am I actually getting a good reward here? Wait. Wait, no, it's happening. Oh my god, okay, okay. Really? All that conversation over the epic. All right. My boy Cheese... I need the skip dialogue button. That's what I need. The markswoman conversation. There you go. I'm going to be honest. Dialogue? Like, I I, I have a literal 0% interest in it. I know when the game originally put dialogue in, it's kind of fun to, like, look through and, you know, have a good time with it. But it's one of those things that, like, lasts for maybe five minutes of entertainment value. 
And then I'm like, okay, bet. I'm done. We're good. I'm good here. Same was true with Call of Dragons. Like, there was a ton of really good story. And I, I actually met the person who, like, does the story. And I feel bad because, like, you know, it's, like, good. And there's all this lore. And, like, I, it's just not why I play games. It's just, that's just me. I don't know. Drop a comment. Do you play games for the lore? For the story? Why, why do you play? Esmeralda? I feel like I should know that Esmeralda gives awards here. This is how little attention I pay to the dialogue. I'm actually surprised that Esmeralda's here. What are you doing here, man? You ultimately, to try the Wheel of Fortune, a sting of losses follow? Yeah, of course. The house always wins, and Esmeralda especially always wins. Uh, I mean, yeah. Is what it is. Oh my god, I have 10 more of these to do. Bro. Oh, hey, the skip button's here. Don't remind me again. Oh, thank God, I can skip now. All right, chat, now we're cruising. I guess I needed to do like a certain number of those and now it'll let me skip them. Thank goodness for that. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So nothing too crazy here. I don't even know if I got like four arch armaments to my name. Go whip. GG. Uh, where are you at, Lapu Lapu? Sort though, but that's the problem. It's sort of by star. With some ink, sort by power. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Do I, oh, I, well, here we go. Okay, equip. Yep, 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 yep. Good. Um, oh, all damage. Oh, all damage siege, though. Ugh, gross. All right. Cool. Well, oh, that's march speed. Hmm, <laughs> okay, well. Well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, technically, I have some armaments on. I guess the bigger impact here is talents. I don't know why I didn't start here. So, they're probably going to swarm my city. So, we take Know Thy Enemy. That's, like, got to be the play. And um, we can do some of this stuff. I don't know. Kind of like, genuinely don't care. Um, we go over here. Get some extra rage. Seems decent. We go over here like this good strategic prowess yep uh and okay three different troop types we're cooking with that and i probably skipped the left side of the tree probably the game plan honestly like because they're gonna swarm my city dude i wonder if we just go divine favor that like can't be the play right that could it be the play no that can't be the play that, I can't, that can't be right. We'll just do this, this is fine. All right, good, we have talent points. All right, chat, we're ready to defend my city. So all in all, hyped for the graphics update. Look forward to what the developers will do with this. The things look good. Oh, look at this fort. Hey, yo, that looks nice. The center fortress looks good, man. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, throw a like on here, subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more information about the updates that are on the way to Rise of Kingdoms, click the cards that are right over here. Click them. Check them out. Two of them.